You are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How would you say Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. Shadows, your sword is useless here. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. But he always come back. He says I will die if I go with them. They say I'm already dead. No, they okay. won't be with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you to see them? them? Do you see their faces? She can't remember when it started, when her mother lost her smile, her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child, and the first time she felt the cold chill. Fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it? She has got much time. Out. She's too slow. It's not going to burn out. The darkness will come again.
she could see them. Her father, Zinbel, could see the monster in her.
She'll have to go under. She can't. She has to. She can't. The torch will go out. Don't. She can do it. She can't do it. The light's gone out. Run. Get through it as quick as you can. The panic is here. What was that? See her die? I don't remember. I was only five. They told me she escaped the darkness. That she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Rain the dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rhea would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rayan reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafnir. The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day, Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to every man, and every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Go through the 
door. The door is open. It's open. You have to go through. She opened it with a sound. She can. It's a trap. The beast is coming. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. Down there. No, no. She knows the beast is down there. He's always you? You watching you. You're never safe from him. You can feel him. Be careful. She needs to find Dillian. Where is he? She needs to find it. She lost it and she has to find it. I can feel it. Is it? Keep me the torch a lot. Finish it. Get up quickly. Get up. 
Sigurd kills the dragon. Brian wants to keep Fafner's gold all for himself. Brian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafner's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Beast is there. Beast is there. Deeper into the darkness. Deep, deep down. The beast has the head. She will be trapped. The beast has the head and he's using it. Once she gets down there, she'll never come out. It's luring her down. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. Deeper and deeper. The beast knows. The beast knows exactly where she is. She's falling for it. She turns for their tricks every time. Plays into his What's she doing? She's getting She's making light. She's making a fight. She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. What's her plan? What's she thinking? How's she going to get there? We will find her. Sigurd's new found power lets him hear the birds speak, and they say, go, go, go. Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafner's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps in a chant and sleep. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rain, eats Fafner's roasted heart, and takes Fafner's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Help but 
think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Nothing. Go down, go down. Sigurd learns that Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin, and so he had her punished, stuck her with a sleep thorn, and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless, and passes through the flames, just as I did, and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and help, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell.